So this is the new fifth wheel hitch we've got to go in the new 2017 Ford F350. This is a BMW companion hitch. It's made to go in the, the puck system. You see right there, it's built into the some of the newer vehicles, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, they all do it. I think something similar. Um, if you get had to order this truck with it, fifth wheel prep package they call it. And then it's prepped for a goose gooseneck ball as well in the center. Just kind of give you a, a quick tour of it, but installations snap with it. Um, get my camera turned here where you can see it. Anyway, you got these once you get it set down in the puck holes, you'll turn those handles 90 degrees and it locks those cams inside pretty nice setup so you can take it take it out cover your fuck holes up when you're not using it you've got full use of your bed kind of set it in here where you can see it just sits right down in And all you do is you take, you twist these handles 90 degrees, and then they'll you just pin it through this here, locks it in. I got mine adjusted pretty tight. I wanted it pretty tight, but you can adjust it with these castle nuts, look, tighten them or loosen them however you want it. But I got mine pretty tight, so I use that to kick them in there to get them started. And then this piece will sit right down on that. Got these bushings here it rides on. And that they recommend using a white lithium grease on it and keep it lubricated. And one neat feature I like about it, it's got this little spring clip on here. Keeps your your plate, your fifth wheel plate level so it's not flopping around all the time a little nice upgrade from the other hitch i had in the previous truck not a big deal but it does make it a little easier i can i can see it better out of the looking back out of the cab when it's not sitting nice and level I'll show you how that goes on it sits down on there and these handles they're spring loaded in there. There's two latches that'll lock, and these handles are down that'll lock the hitch. So it won't come up as well as these pins. You pin it with the pin in, even if you pull the handle up, it still won't come off. So. And as you can see here on the underneath, there's a one inch pin that runs through here that the fifth wheel plate will swivel side to side, give you a little better rod. 
and there's a grease fitting right there as you can see keep that lubed up like I said after you get that on slide your pins through pin it Here's the locking mechanism, locks your pin in. I like this design better too versus the old hitch I had. There's not as there's no slack in this at all when you when you're hitched up. Uh, taking off, stopping at red lights. There's no slack in it at all versus uh, some of the slider bar hitches where the, the bar slides through here. I like this design a little better. It's got good thick jaws on it, about an inch thick. It wraps completely around your pin. What you'll do to hook up is you open this up like that, and as you back into it, your pin will come in, press against that, and it'll lock up. Then all you got to do is take this pin and that will lock that keep that from opening I am going to get a a padlock to put in here eventually I just like the idea of that better if I stop at a rest stop or a gas station you know walk away from a truck or whatever that will keep some knuckleheads from just out of meanness pulling that out and me not knowing it taking off going down the road I just like the idea of having that locked so I'll I'll show some video later of actually backing in hooking up uh, let you see kind of how, how it works and as well as some video of me actually pulling with it so you can see see the hitch under stress as I'm going down the road Hopefully you learned something. Overall, I'm really impressed with the hitch. Uh, it's built heavy duty. Um, installation's pretty straightforward when you get it. They'll ship it to you. It'll come in two boxes. 
the bottom section will be in a box and then the top section um, comes with good instructions. It took me maybe 30 minutes to put it together. I, I did adjust it one time. There's three adjustments on it. I think it'll go from 16 inches, the lowest setting, up to 18 inches, the highest setting as far as how high your your, your plates off the off the bed of your truck i'm actually in the middle i had to adjust it uh, one time after i had it in to get it get the camper sitting where i wanted it but other than that i would recommend it uh,